So, okay. Uh, I saw this video that alleged that it was you uh, involved in this crazy ass shootout. W- what was that situation? Maybe it might not have been you. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, I don't think it was me. Okay, but that wasn't related to any of the cases that you caught. <laughs> well played. Um, okay, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick another question after that. <laughs> Um, okay, more in a more general sense, is it weird for you to have people kind of taking videos and images of you from the internet and just like telling stories about you on the internet and stuff? I'm sure we haven't even seen the true extent that we might of like documentaries and, and people just making videos about you. And is, is that a weird new thing for you to be dealing with? Yeah, bro, that's crazy, bro. On the day, homies, and people just be sending me, like, oh, look at this, look at this. That should be like crazy. And I'd be looking at it. I'm mean, like, that's funny, cuz. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. But I already knew, like, on the dead homie that that was, like, going to come with this shit. Like, the bigger, bigger of a trophy you get, like, the more it's going to, like, be, cuz. Mm-hmm. So, like, hell yeah. Do you think you're ready for that level of attention? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Have you already had to, like, kind of change a lot of but your I'm habits like, and how I'm you like, move around? I'm not the type of shit, cuz. I just I already, like, move around. I already move like I'm in a mob, cuz. I don't just be doing anything, bro. I don't be anywhere I don't like just doing anything cuz so this type of shit don't like fit my life perfect cuz I'm like a out the way like type like on a dead homies NBA young boy type cuz out the way mm. up up out the way all the money crib out the way well young boy is only up in the crib just because the yeah fact. your house arrest you the thing. <laughs> yeah but damn, he that's used a to cool- be outside acting crazy as fuck even in LA when he first moved out to LA I was seeing crazy videos of him politicking with different people and being in the hood and shit. And yeah. I, I'm like, it's probably a lot better. But that that's like a good lifestyle to live. Cut out the way, all the money, big house, and just like, just out the way, cuz, dead homies. That's right. the type of lifestyle. I'd be, I just, you know, pop out here and there to do certain little shit before. Just like having fun and doing all that shit. Going to the club. I'm not no club type nigga. Here, get the money. I'm being out of here. That's the type of, I'm be, I'm crap. I'm be, I don't like big crowds, none of that type of shit, cuz. Right. I mean, there's so many things that if you just look at like superstar rappers that you can point out and like learn lessons from them. Like, look how Pop Smoke got killed out here just from accidentally putting his address online slash like you know exactly. just being in an Airbnb without security and shit. If he had just had like a couple of hotel rooms that night instead of having an Airbnb, he would still be here. And that's just like another lesson that you can kind of look at a, a rapper and learn that shit from him. I even like think about 21 on a, a recent record. He said like. He goes, last one was easy. He pulls up on random hoes. And I'm like, he's saying he said, like. He said last one was easy what? The last one was easy. He pulled up on random hoes. Oh, the basically dead, saying oh, the dead <laughs> hoes. <laughs> you know, if, if you're moving, moving yeah. sloppy out here, yeah. it's going to be easy for somebody who yeah. wants you gone to get yeah. out of here. That's crazy yeah. because. But we, I said some shit too like that, like kind of on a song I did with Phoenix Flexing. Because I was like, he think with his dick. Fucking send a bitch at him on grip. Nigga, they go to the dick, cuz. They go send a bitch at you, cuz. Yeah. On the hood, that's how that shit go, cuz. But that used to be something that everybody just kind of took for granted is that one of the benefits of becoming a famous rapper is that you got to go fuck all these random hoes. and. Yeah, man, on gang, cuz. You better just pick the hoes wisely, cuz, because these bitches, cuz, it's cold. And they be on the dead homies. Definitely. Train, cold. But do you think that you could be living the life in a mansion locked away in Calabasas and not feel the need to still be up and shit because... On one hand, it's like you're you're safe, you're comfortable, you're able to do your thing. But on the other hand, it's like your music is maybe going to get kind of boring if you're not like being around people and necessarily knowing what to talk about, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of true, cuz, on the dead homies. But shit, if it's working for you, then shit, keep it like that. I'd rather have it like that anyway. On gang, just out the way, cuz, all the money. All the money out the way. Mm-hmm. Dead homies. Yeah. No, definitely. But yeah, that, that, that do make sense, though, cuz you is going to get like out of touch with the like certain little shit but you got that's why you I don't know you should you probably hire somebody to go do that go see what's going on <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no for real but you see that all the time with star rappers shit all you gotta do is watch Instagram you'll see what's going on you yeah, have yeah. everything to talk about a Kanye or a Drake or whatever they always will have the younger homies around them and shit that are kind of there to like tell them what's going on and shit like Drake mm-hmm. needs a Yachty around to mm-hmm. sort of let them know what's going on and type fashion shit, and how shit. young people are talking to each yeah. other and shit yeah yeah, you know? yeah 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 type shit on the dead homies at a certain point you need a little bit of that um, one of the 
bars that really stood out to me in some of your songs is you have one where you said the ops tried to come and score three, but we blocked it. <laughs> yeah. What what does that translate to? Basically, it's like cuz on the dead homies. Okay, it could be like three of the homies cuz standing on the block cuz on the dead homies and the ops roll by cuz. Okay, say three homies cuz standing on the block and it's like another homie or two in a car somewhere pulled off in the cut somewhere where the ops don't see, but these three niggas is visible cuz to ops eyesight cuz. So they roll by like, ooh, look at them three niggas. I don't know if they get busy or finna try to do their thing, but the niggas that they didn't see cuz in the car cuz blicked up. Uh, get up on them, get up off the homie. Uh, uh, they blocked it. That's how you block it. That's how you block that three cuz. And three niggas cuz was finna get scored on by the ops cuz, but the homies blocked it. Right. For all. I think the weird thing about that is you're making it sound like being posted up outside is really, really important to the extent where you need to have a secret assassination team over here to stop <laughs> anything from happening when you could just be in the crib. Yeah, cuz. That's how that shit go, though, cuz. <laughs> right. Yeah. Definitely. 